Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video for Dart. In this video I'll be showing you some of the latest updates and features that have been added in the recent versions with a focus on user customization for the app's settings. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the previous video about installation, general concepts and plans for the app. First, you have now an option to change the route path in the settings this uh, feature allows you to specify a new root directory for your mods or mod manager, which can be very useful depending on your setup, the mod manager you're using, or if you have uh, installed Dart in a custom location. Next, you can now change the language and theme of the app through the settings. If you wish, uh, you can customize and add new languages and themes to the GUI slash i18n and GUI slash themes folders respectively. If you plan to add new languages or themes, be sure to use the JSON format and follow the same structure as the provided files. If you create new language translations and be happy to include them in future updates and credit you as a contributor. Another new feature is the addition of a cache function which can greatly improve the app's performance, especially for low-end or very large setups and non-SSD users. You can enable this option in the settings, and here I am demonstrating the difference in execution speed between the previous version without cache and the new version with cache. You can also manually refresh the cache data using the refresh data option in the settings. Lastly, there's an option to display a new sidebar in the settings. This sidebar includes a set of tools and a preview window, but I will cover these tools in future videos. That's it for this video. Please consider to like, endorse and give me some feedback. I would like to hear your ideas for additional features you would find useful for the future. Thanks for watching, please enjoy and see you in the next one.